Welcome back everybody, Travis from Arcan Trailer here. Wanted to take a few moments of your time today to show you through the 2022 Keystone Raptor 362. It's a big toy hauler floor plan coming in about 40 feet for the overall length, just under 14,000 pounds. And we're gonna have a 13 foot garage in the backside that is separate from your living space. With the Raptor, it's gonna be the top dog with Keystone as far as toy haulers goes. We've got all the bells and whistles inside, so we got a lot to see. Let's jump right into it. Um, starting up front, it is hard to see in this particular setting here, but Keystone does have their in-house painted front caps. There's gonna be six layers of paint up there, three layers of base, three layers of clear coat with their Key Shield paint, um, but looks incredibly sharp and is gonna hold up to the test of time. We'll have the Road Armor pin box with the CRE 3000 suspension in between all your axles, just improving your ride quality exponentially, especially on a, a bigger unit as such. And behind the pin box here, we'll have two 30 pound propane bottles, as well as that Onan 5500 watt gen set um, that we're all used to seeing with the toy hauler. And that's gonna be controlled through the in-command system just inside the unit we'll see in a few moments. Talking about power generator, the unit is also equipped with the SolarFlex 400i from Keystone. So we got 400 watts of solar up on the roof. We've got a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter set up in the pass-through storage. So if you're out doing some boondocking and you don't want to run the generator, hey, you still got some inverted plugs inside that you can uh, charge up the mobile devices or whatever you need there. Moving down, we do have six point hydraulic auto level going down the length of the unit here. And then we have two power awnings across the top side, giving you immense coverage and a whole lot of LED lights just to help brighten it up outside. We have our pass-through storage here. Uh, we'll have the solar controller and inverter, as well as the brains for the in-command system in there. So access to any of those systems if you ever do need. And then I do like to point out, we do have the slam latch style handles on all the baggage doors as well. Moving down on our primary entry door, we've got the solid step entry with the extra large grab handle, a nice wide doorway, as well as a tall doorway as well. I believe it's 78 inches for that entryway door. We've upgraded our exterior audio system as well, the audio system altogether. We are using JBL speakers throughout just for a better sound quality with, uh, with the Raptor line here. As we continue down the unit, we have a little uh, outdoor entertainment area here with the TV beverage fridge beside that so great if you need to uh, grab a refill and you don't want to make your way inside the unit here we'll have nice aluminum rims uh, the again the cre 3000 suspension system between the axles now it's going to pivot a couple inches in either direction gives you six inches of travel but has nice uh, malleable bushings in there to help dampen the ride as well as uh, greasable wet bushings in there for you Second entry door is going to be coming right into the garage. So if you don't need to go in the living space, you just want to grab something for the for the next trail ride. Easy access in, easy access back out. You will notice it is just your fold out aluminum style step here as of course we can have those steps folding into the garage, taking up that space that you need for the toys. Now, without a doubt, probably my personal favorite feature on any toy hauler out there is going to be the party deck on the back. Um, so if you're not loading toys in and out have it set up in a in a level position here it's going to fold out to a patio you have the railing to go around as well as a third awning that's going to come out just above so if it is raining or drizzling you can have that out give you some protection and then we've also got that solid step getting up onto the patio for you as well with that i'm going to meet you guys back by the front entry door and we'll check out the interior space on the raptor 362. So coming into the interior on the Raptor 362, we've got kind of a, a booth meets bench dinette that they've got going on here. Very unique design, but very functional. Of course, dedicated booth. We'll have some storage along the backside there with that outdoor entertainment fridge section. But then the bench, you could pull it forward towards the couch for an ottoman if you need it, or of course, just have it up against the dinette. Now, just behind me, we do have the super long couch here with the big windows behind it. And they are gonna be your recliner style chairs here. So handles are just gonna be in the side, give that a pull, kicks back, great spot to relax on an afternoon. And then you've got the LED lights and the massage in there as well for you. Or pardon me, the heat and the massage. Um, one point just on the front wall as you're coming in, we do have a floor to ceiling pantry here. So some pretty incredible storage and you'll have shelves built throughout that. So if you are doing some longer trips, you've got no shortage of space. And as we're closing up all those doors, another point to show off is, in fact, the soft close cabinets there. So a nice residential touch. 
As we're making our way back into the living space here, we'll have our 18 cubic foot gas electric fridge just over my left shoulder. And of course, beside the uh, sofa on that slide. Across from that, we'll have a little bit of a C-shaped kitchen here. Get lots of counter space to work with all around. Cover for the sink, which is just a nice big single basin, stainless steel sink here with the high rise residential faucet. We've got the uh, cooktop with the glass cover, of course, just your standard three burner here, but always nice to see the glass cover. So if you do need a little bit of extra prep space, you've always got that option. Uh, just above is a 30 inch convection microwave. So residential application there. And then the last point in the living area here, right across from me at the sofa, you are able to look up towards the entertainment center, provides a very comfortable area to uh, hang out and watch a movie if it is a rainy day and, uh, and you're trapped indoors. Now we'll make our way towards the rear, but before we jump into the garage, we do have a loft above. So that's gonna be an additional sleeping area, more so just a single bunk up there, but it's a great place for storage totes or again, utilizing it as a bunk. Coming into the garage, we do have a nice uh, tinted glass door here to let you in so you can see in if you ever need to. Uh, but coming into the garage, of course, 13 foot storage area back here. All of our tie downs are welded right to your frame rails, rated for 5,000 pounds. We of course have the two sofas or couches that uh, fold into a queen bunk on the bottom and we'll have that secondary queen bunk just above. Now, as we are in the garage, looking towards the front wall here, we do have the washer dryer prep. So if you need to set up the laundry machine, no shortage of space here to do so. And we'll have a third entertainment center, or I guess second entertainment, we'll see the third in a moment, back here in the garage, and this TV will just drop down, gives you a better area to hang out and, uh, and watch the, the screen. Um, additional storage cabinets, and then all of our controls for everything in the backside, the rear awning, the lights, um, the bed raise and lower switch are gonna be on this control panel right here. Last point I like to mention in our Raptor garages is we have these snap off blackout shades. A lot of competitors, you'll see a traditional pleated or the, even the metal style shade back here. Well, if you come in on one of the toys and you happen to snag one of these covers, it's just gonna rip off, not gonna do any damage. You snap it back on and off you go. Or some of the other guys, those shades are just gonna take a bit of a beating and uh, start to show wear and tear over time. With that, we'll start heading towards the front of the unit here, show you the, uh, the main bath as well as the master bedroom. As we are coming upstairs, we do have our tankless hot water heater controls here. So that's always a great feature. Endless hot water, nobody can complain with that. And then our in-command control system just above, which is essentially that touchscreen panel with all your controls for the generator, the slides, the lights, HVAC, everything else in between. Uh, making our way up, we do have an entry door into the bathroom. We'll show you that in just a quick moment, but we'll find a nice size master bedroom here. The bed's gonna be shifted closer to the campsite, but provides space for a larger wardrobe slide. Added storage is always a good thing. Um, we'll have overhead cabinetry across the front with a nightstand on either side. There's built-in wireless chargers, 110 plugs, and those two plugs, uh, you'll see a yellow sticker on them here. The inverter that I mentioned previous with the solar package, any outlet you see with the yellow sticker is gonna indicate that that is an inverted outlet. So if you fired on that inverter, you can plug your phone into there and that's gonna charge up even if you're out dry camping without running that generator. Just behind me, we do have the wardrobe slide, lots of storage in here. We've got the hanging bar for all your or jackets, sweatshirts, so on and so forth. And then of course, some drawers and additional cabinets just behind me here. Now in the master bedroom, we will have another AC unit as well as the third entertainment center. So no matter where you're hanging out in the Raptor, there's always a spot to be comfortable and uh, kick on a movie or, or the screen. Lastly, into the master or ensuite style bathroom, it is a pass through so you get access from the master or from the main living space. But we get a nice size vanity here, a bit of counter space to work with, mirrored medicine cabinet above. Fair size walk-in shower here. Slide these panes over for you. With the skylight above, of course, we'll have porcelain foot flush toilet, a bit of a storage cabinet behind. And then just over my right shoulder, we do have a floor to ceiling linen cabinet here as well. Good for any toiletries or extras there. Uh, with that, that'll wrap up our tour of the 2022 Keystone Raptor 362. 
My name is Travis from Arcan Trailer. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you guys real soon.